Right. Wait, well, why don't we just get started here? So let's, let's do it. Um, yeah. So hello, ladies. Um, welcome to the Girls Beat Making Workshop presented by today's Future, Future Sound. Um, my name is Miss Call Me Chris, but you all are free to call me Crystal, uh, whatever's easiest. Uh, I am a beat maker, producer, recording engineer, and your host for today, along with two other amazing ladies, um, music producer and DJ Ray Rec. Um, <laughs> music producer and recording engineer, Lady Atia. And um, Lady Atia was it's going to kind of help us out for um, today and chime in on some things. So um, we all are partners and have been working with Today's Future Sound for some time now. Um, if you aren't familiar with Today's Future Sound, we are a youth-based organization that's goal is to inspire the next generation through music. Um, we believe in the power of music to transform lives. Our beat making programs are educational, therapeutic, and help build confidence and inspires creativity. So uh, we are extremely excited about working with you all today. We hope you are excited about being here uh, because we're going to show you some really cool stuff, um, some basics and some fundamentals of beat making. So before we get into it, uh, there's a couple things we kind of want to do. One, I want to allow, I want to allow a moment for um, Ray Rack and Lady Atia to introduce themselves. If you all want to take a moment to, to talk or share some stuff about you. Sure. Um, thank you for the introduction. So, um, yes, my name is Ray Shell. Um, like Seashell, but Ray Shell. Uh, you can call me Ray. It's a little bit easier. Um, if you want to, either way works. Um, yeah, so I like to DJ a lot of electronic music and hip hop and a lot of genres, mostly dance oriented. Um, and I like to make beats. I like to make hip hop beats. And every now and then I write poems. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How about you, Lady Tia? You just want to share something really quick? Introduce yourself. Hi, guys. Um, um, one, I'm a mom, so I have Kalani in the background. But um, I started music when I was three, so that was my passion. I loved singing. That's what I thought I was going to be. And I uh, studied music all throughout all my schooling. Um, I just graduated from Full Sail University as an audio engineer and um i love making music but i also love teaching so i'm glad to be here it's my first time um but i'm very excited about this program sweet um so for those of you ladies who have joined us today did you all want to take a, mo a moment to introduce yourselves and tell us how old you are just your name how old you are and what brought you here today Anybody want to start? Okay. Queen Abelaya, did you want to? I thought I saw your hand. Oh, I think she's typing. She's typing. So, okay, so while she's typing, um, Leica, did you want to introduce yourself, tell us how old you are and what brought you here today? Um, my name is Leica and I'm 10 years old. I came here today because um, I thought this class would be interesting. Sweet. Okay, very nice to meet you, Leica. Let's see. Okay, so um, okay, we're still waiting on Queen Abelaya. Journey Rose. Do you want to introduce yourself? Mm -hmm. 
six and a half. I mean, it's going to be seven. Nice. In nine days. In nine days. Oh. And I like to download music apps on my phone. My mom's phone. Oh, my. <laughs> No mom's world. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us, Journey. Okay, so we have a response here from Queen Abilea. Um, She says, hi, I am Abigail Gonzalez. I am 11, going to the seventh grade. I love chess. Oh, wait, wait. Um, I love chess. What brought me here is uh, her chess teacher, Mr. Lee. So chess in music what a great combination well thank you so much for joining us queen abelaya um great so um another thing that we kind of want to do before we get started is we want to do some mindful exercises to kind of help us get focused for today and dr elliot gann who is the founder of today's future sound is going to guide us through that dr. gann dr gann can you all right Thank you everyone for being here. We're excited to have you. Um, just so you're aware, we're going to be doing another kids beat making workshop next Wednesday. And if this workshop is something that you like, um, I'd be more than happy to arrange for a repeat of this beat making session next Thursday. I know Chris, you'll be traveling, but uh, yeah. I think, and I hope Ray and uh, Miss Atia, or Lady Atia will be available. So um, the reason that we do mindfulness and dynamic mindfulness, which means movements are involved, is to help us to calm down and calm our body down and help us to focus more. Because when, if you're really kind of anxious and, and you know, you, you're kind of jittery or, or maybe you, you need more energy, maybe you're feeling kind of low, um, this can really help you to focus and get more blood to your brain and help you to really kind of be in the state where you might make the best music and learn the best. So. I know for me it's really helpful. Um, so what I'm going to suggest is if folks are willing to do it, that we just stand up for a minute um, and you can put, have your hands down by your side like this. I'll just adjust my camera so you can see me a little better. Um, so we're going to stand like this with your hands by your side and gently put your, roll, you know, put your hands, ball them into a fist, but very gently, okay? So you're down by your side, hands into a fist. And what we're going to do is we're going to do three deep breaths. When we breathe in, we're going to breathe in through our nose. And we're going to breathe in for a count of three. And when we breathe out, we're going to breathe out through our mouth. And we're going to breathe out for a count of six. And what that's going to do is that's going to tell our body that it's time to chill out and that everything's cool and we can calm down and focus and focus on learning. So if you're ever feeling anxious or worried or scared, you can do this to help yourself calm down. Or if you're feeling very jittery or high energy, you want to calm down, you can do this. So let's try it. We're going to start breathing through our nose. And when we breathe through our nose, we're going to gently let our fingers out. We're going to open it up because we're opening up our lungs and we're breathing in. And then when we breathe out, we're going to squeeze our hands back into a fist like that. And we're going to breathe out. So let's, let's try it. Breathe in through your nose for three. Breathe in three and then breathe out you can even close your eyes if that helps we're gonna breathe in three and breathe out breathe in for three And breathe out. Now you can gently open your eyes and let your fingers go. Now, Ray, I know you mentioned something about a tree pose. Would you like to lead us in the tree pose for the second breathing exercise? Yes. So you can see my background right here uh, is pretty fun. Um, it is a tree. It's a true background. But um, so one of the exercises that I feel like are really helpful is to do um, another one we call tree pose where you stand like a tree and you, you know, you basically 
feel like you're a tree, right? So hopefully you'll be. Oops. Okay, now you can hear me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so our second exercise is going to be called tree pose. Um, it's something that's used in yoga, but it's also really fun to do. Um, and it's really helpful because it makes you feel grounded, kind of like a tree, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to just stand up again. And we want to um, put our hands kind of like this. So you want to wrap one hand around like this. Yeah, exactly. And, and then if you are standing up, what you're going to do is you're going to put your foot like kind of like against your leg, like a tree. So we're going to do that and we're going to try to hold that position and envision us being a really stable, tree trunk, right? So we're gonna do it for, let's see if we could do it for 30 seconds. Okay? All right, ready? So just feel your foot really planted on the ground. And then you can feel the rest of your body connected to your roots. So it'll be ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. Good job, everyone. Are we all focused now and ready to start, ready to begin? All right, so let's do it. Um, okay, so the first thing that we want to do is make sure that everyone is logged into or signed up with Band Lab. Um, well, does everyone- What do to do? What's Band Lab, Emma? Band Lab? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you exactly- I don't know where to go. Okay, I'm gonna help you out. I'm confused, what? Okay. Leka? Okay, we're, go we're gonna give you this, we're gonna walk you through signing up with Band Lab, okay? Yeah. Leka, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I, great. I signed up. Okay, so what I want you to do is open your browser, open, a, open an internet browser and go to www, I'm gonna share my screen so you can see, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Audio, share. Okay. So, Open an internet browser and go to www.bandlab, one word, dot com. Um, does everyone else, is everyone else familiar with Band Lab and has an account? If not, we can kind of all kind of just follow, it up, follow along here. So, Lek, are you with me? Yeah. Okay, so are you at bandlab.com? Yeah, I'm opening it up. Okay. You let me know once you're there.
Are you there? I'm almost there. I just okay. I'm signing in. Okay. So in the chat, Queen Azalea says, I have an account, but I don't know how to use it. Um, okay, we're gonna get everybody on the same page. I'm sorry, what are you, who said that? Uh, Queen Azalea. Okay, Queen Azalea, okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get everyone on the same page. So, Queen Avalea, if you go to bandlab.com, if you're on this page right here, all you, if you have an account, all you pretty much need to do is just log in. So you see the login here? So click that button. I think I'm already logged in. Let's see, let me close that and type in your email or username and your password and that should take you um, to your profile page. Yep, you are logged in. So just hold there for a second while we get um, Leka there with us. I had to log, I had to sign up again because it didn't work. Okay. So that's what Sorry. I'm doing. Okay, so you're signing up? Mm hmm Okay, great. So go ahead and sign up. And then when you get to a part where it says artist, music, consumer, or something like that, you're going to just click artist because you want to create music. Okay. And then, yeah. So you let us know when, once you get to, let me sign in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm in. You're in. Wonderful. Okay. So, do you are you on the profile page that looks like this? Um. Let me see. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So let me make sure. So if everyone can kind of raise their hand or just say yeah, is everyone logged on to the profile? Logged in and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so now let's get started. Okay, so let's create a project. So the first thing that we want to do is open or click this uh, create button at the top, this red create button with the plus sign next to it. And what that does is it, it gives us like this, these options of tracks that we can get started with, okay? So let's kind of go through some of these tracks here, okay? So the first one we have is instruments. And um, with instruments or software, they're also known as like virtual or software instruments. And basically um, they are instruments on your computer that emulates the sound of real instruments. So when you open up an instrument track, there's like a, a whole category of instruments that you can play that pretty much sound like real instruments. Um, after that, we have drum machine. Um, the drum machine, a lot of popular genres of music use drum machines because they have some really cool electronic drum sounds that you can't quite like emulate from a real drum set. So um, they're really good to use for like hip hop and dance and electronic music. So drum machine has these really cool electronic drum sounds that are really good to use for those type or those styles of music. Um, next to that, we have a voice and mic track. And if you want to record your voice, um, you could pretty much do so with this track. And you don't have to have a microphone. Um, if you want to record some voice samples, just like you're hearing me from my microphone on my laptop, 
you can pretty much speak into the microphone of your laptop or your, whatever device that you're using and you can create some vocal sounds to add to your track. Um, after that, we have guitar and bass. Now these are for like, you know, if you want to play live guitar and live bass, um, with these you would need an, addi an additional device called a uh, audio interface to connect to your, your computer um, in order to like convert that live sound into a digital, um, kind of like a digital signal that you would hear from your computer. Uh, but we're going to keep it simple today, right? So guitar and bass and voice and all that stuff sounds great, but we're going to keep we're going to keep it to the basics, okay? So we are going to start our project off with creating a drum a drum track, and we're going to do that with choosing instruments. Now I know you're probably thinking, like, why wouldn't we choose drum machine? Well, drum machine um, kind of ha already has like pre-made drum patterns in there but we want to show you all how to create your own drum pattern so as you look here in this drum, this instruments icon you see pianos you see a horn and you see drums so we can also find some uh, drum sounds in this instrument track so let's click on instruments everyone click on instruments and you should see something that looks like this and we can kind of go over um, what we're looking at here. So at the top here, you kind of have your LCD screen with your navigation. This is go back or go to the beginning. This is your play button and this is go to the end of your, your track. Um, anytime you see a big red circle, it's the record button. So this is the button that you, you would use to record. Um, this here is your LCD that counts the beats and bars, and we'll kind of get into that uh, a little bit later. Um, and then in the middle here, we have the key, and you can kind of change the, the key of your song, uh, but we're not going to get into that today. We're, again, we're going to keep things simple. Um, next to that, we have the tempo. You see 120 BPM. BPM stands for beats per minute, all right? Um, this is also the speed of your song, okay? So while we are here on this, or while we're looking at the, the tempo, we're going to adjust this, okay, for two reasons. Um, one, the slower the BPM, uh, the easier it is to kind of follow along as a beginner. So 120 is a little fast, so we want to slow that down a little bit. So let's try um, 90. Let's go to 90. Also, too, um, we're going to do like hip hop music today. And it's good to know that the BPM range for hip hop music is 85 to about 95. So anywhere in between that range, you can use to create hip hop music. So we're going to choose, we're going to work with 90 uh, BPM today. Um, Next to that is your time signature. That's a little advanced. We won't get in that today or into that today. Um, but this right here is very important. This is called a metronome, right? And what this does is it pretty much is a device that, uh, it, that creates this clicking sound that you would play along to to kind of keep you on beat and keep you in time with the music. So this is important to use, especially when we get into melodies and um, creating harmonies and stuff like that. Um, but for now, we are going to create a, a drum beat. So let's go down to this section here, our instrument section, okay? When we open band lab or we create an instrument track, as you can see, it defaults to a piano sound. You guys can hear that? Can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear the piano sound that I'm making? Everyone, yes, no? Hold on. Oh, everyone can, I can, <laughs> okay. Okay, great, I can't hear you guys when, um, every, yeah, you're, 
mic is me or I can't see you when my I'm sharing my screen. Okay, so going back to sharing my screen. Great. Okay. So we're not working with the piano just yet. Again, we're going to work with drums. So let's change our instrument from piano. If we click on piano, we got a bunch of diff different instruments here. So we are going to change our instrument from piano to drums. Now you can either pick drum kit or drum pads, right? I like to use drum pads because it kind of gives that, that real um, drum machine, as I was talking about that drum machine feel, where if you were a little, if you had a little bit of experience in beat making, um, drum, machine, drum machines, again, are really, pop, really popular. And it's like, um, they're hardware, uh, but this right here is like the built-in software. So you can actually play these pads live and record your drum beat, okay? Um, but because we're beginners, we are going to use what is called a MIDI editor, okay? Uh, one thing before we get into that, you notice like if you hit the pads, you notice that there is a sample or sound assigned to each pad. Next to that, you'll see some letters, okay? If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can actually use the physical keyboard on your laptop um, and use these letters to make, activate those sounds, okay? But again, we're not gonna, we're not gonna work that way today. Today we're gonna use the step sequencer, okay? Which is, BandLab calls it a MIDI editor. So if you all can find the MIDI editor, if you, one, I wanna make sure everybody has chosen a drum kit. So let me go back to, let me stop sharing my screen so I can see you all. Have everyone chosen a drum kit? Everyone? Queen Abelea? Can you just, okay. All right, cool. All right, let's go back to our, let me share my screen. Okay, share. Great. Okay, so now we are going to, again, go to the step sequencer, but it's called MIDI editor here. So let's go to the, our MIDI editor. Everyone click on the MIDI editor button. And it opens a screen that looks like this, okay? Or this bottom section here, okay? Now, unlike those pads that we were just looking at, our samples and sound and instrument sounds are right here on the left-hand side, okay? And next to each sound, there is a corresponding row, okay? As you, as you can all see that, okay? Um, so what this step, or how this step sequencer kind of make things easier is um, it's basically a tool that follows steps that we enter into this grid, okay? Now, it makes it easier because you pretty much can't go wrong with making a drum beat um unless you're just inputting a whole bunch of stuff as you can see like there's a whole bunch of options like we can literally just start adding stuff in here if we want to like we can enter a a box into every single empty square if we wanted to right but the thing is i'm gonna just play it to hear what that sounds like turn this down a little bit It doesn't really sound like anything. Um, let me, I see Letka is, she has a question. Hold on real quick. Let me stop sharing my screen. Um, Letka, did you have a question? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let me just put down my hand. Go ahead, go for it. Okay, so um, how do you go to that page? i confused. I've missed that step. Miss that step? Okay, which page? Um, the like is... where you can where you, you just made a beat. Okay, so let me go back to share my screen. Okay. Yeah, okay. this page. All right, so there is. I'm a, so at the bottom, you're going to see instruments, effects, and MIDI editor. Okay, so after you chose your drums, you want to click on MIDI editor. Okay, I don't see, um, you don't uh, see that? No, I don't see that. 
Okay. Um, do you see a little button that looks like this right here? Oh, no, I found it. There was, it just was saying something which was covering it. It said cookies are better. Something okay. Just said something. Okay. Are you working on a laptop or are you working on a, a tablet? A laptop. Okay, perfect. Okay, so MIDI editor right there at the bottom. Go ahead and click that. And now does your screen kind of look like mine? Yeah. But how did you put stuff like that over there? Um, I'm gonna show you exactly how to how how we do that. Okay. So again, you can literally just start entering boxes into these empty squares. But the important thing to know is that we want to have structure to our drum beat. Okay. So when somebody hears our drum beat, they'll know what to do with it. Like dance to it or nod their head to it. Like they don't want to hear it and it sound like kind of what we call popcorn, right? If you ever <laughs> hear the sound of popcorn, it just pretty much sounds like random popping noises everywhere. So we want some structure to our drum beat, okay? And how we add structure is pretty much following this ruler at this top here, okay? We got one, 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4, okay? As you can see, well, we'll just start with these whole numbers. One, we're gonna skip everything between and then go to two, okay? Basically what that is, or what that represents is a bar. Or if you know how to read music, it's a measure. So measure and bar, they're pretty much the same thing. So music is made of measures and bars, and bars are made of beats, which you see here, the 1.2, the 1.3, and the 1.4, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making a bar, one bar, which is just this, this red highlighted part. We're gonna make a one bar drum beat, okay? And let's go back to our structure. The way that we keep structure and the way that we keep things on beat is making sure that we, actually before I get into that, let me explain. There's three important elements to drums that you should use, okay? There's the, the kick sound that gives us the, the bottom of the pattern. There is the, I don't, this sounds like a hi-hat, we're gonna skip that. So this part, this right here is a snare, that's, that's the hit that kind of glues everything together. And then what you're gonna have to do is just scroll all the way, actually, yeah, we're gonna scroll all the way to the top until we see what looks like this. This is a, it's like an open hi-hat, we don't, well not an open hi-hat, like a crash. We want a closed hi-hat sound, which is this right here. And what that does is gives us, it gives us rhythm, okay? So let's start with our, actually, here's a cheat code, again, about that structure and keeping everything on beat, okay? Let's start with the snare. So everyone find the snare on the left-hand side that sounds like this. And we are going to add a snare into two, 1.2, which represents two, a count of one, two, three, four. 1.2 represents the two in the count of four. And then we're going to add a snare in the 1.4 box, okay? Now, pretty much from there, we can do what we want with our kick with our kick beat, okay? The only thing is you want to start on one. So everyone kind of enter a, a small kick pattern. So next to the kick, that corresponding row, let's just add some squares in there. But make sure you have your snare on the 1.2 and the 1.4. So whatever we add here in our kick row, will sound, everything will come together and sound on beat, okay? Now, once you do that, we want to loop this, okay? So at the top, there's a loop feature. There's a bar, a faint bar at the top in our arrangement view or our edit view, and we want to scale that down to one bar, okay? And what that does is just repeats 
it repeats what we just uh, entered in here, okay? So I'm gonna hit the play button. And I have a basic simple drum beat, okay? Now the sounds kind of bland. So what we wanna do again is add some rhythm to it. And we're gonna do that with the hi-hat. So let's go to our hi-hat. Okay. Leka, you have a, um, a question? Yeah, I can. Um, I'm kind of confused. How do you like add um, the sounds onto it? Um, you should be able to just click in a square. Well, um, but then how do you add a specific sound? I'm confused. Okay, so on the side, on the left hand side of the, the grid here, you see these sounds? Or you see these? Yeah. Sounds? Okay. I see sounds. So those are those represent your sounds, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you kind of hover over them, it'll tell you exactly what it is. What we want to use is a kick, which you will most likely find at the bottom. And it looks like this right here. Then we want to use a snare. Got that? Mm -hmm. And then, I was just about to go into hi-hat. We want to use a closed hi-hat. So this hi-hat, uh, looks like, it, it looks like a hi-hat. We on it and then we put, put it somewhere? Yeah, so basically, so you find the instrument or you find the sound and then you just click next to it. Click in the rows next to it or mm -hmm. click in the squares in the rows next to it. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I used the wrong instrument. We kind of messed it up. Is, is there a way to delete it? All you got to do is double click it until it disappears. Okay. Did that work for you? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so do you have, and we're going to break out into groups. I'm going to finish explaining this and then we're going to break out into groups where we can go more into depth and you can ask your, um, your questions there. Is that okay? Okay, so boom, we have a simple drum beat here, okay, that we're just gonna play. And it's looping that one bar. Okay, now with our hi-hat, I mean, it still sounds a little boring, so we wanna add some extra hi-hats in there to kind of really set it off so i'm gonna add a hi-hat into i'm gonna add a square into that whole entire row of hi-hats for one bar like it go ahead you have a, a question yeah it's i'm okay. kind of i'm not really getting how because i press on the instrument and then i um i press on a square somewhere but it's not really working okay Give me one one second again. We're gonna break out to groups and then we can really I can really focus on um helping you, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna just play this again with a hi-hat pattern of the entire row clicked, and there we have it. A simple drum beat. Got it? Mm-hmm. And that is what we are going to work on for like the next, I want to say 15 minutes. So we're going to break out into groups and we are going to work on a simple drum pattern. Okay, so let me stop sharing here. Okay. And what these groups are going to help do is like, it's basically like one-on-one -on -one attention to help you all if you all have questions or are confused about anything. Okay. All right, so let's break out here to rooms. Okay. Da, 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 da. Um, I am going to set this for 15 minutes. Okay. Pick that out. Uh, 
All righty, guys. Um, wait, actually, I'm going to move. All right, and here we go. So I will see you all in 15 minutes. created. And also too, if you want to erase everything at once, you can highlight it all and hit the delete button. Okay. Okay. So at this bottom here, let's go down here, the very bottom. And let's start with our snare arrangement. Okay. Remember you structure. Okay. So you got to think it about one just one. So, I mean, it, it, it doesn't have to be the same snare as mine, as long as it's a snare. Okay. It can even be a clap. As you can see here, yeah, there's a clap in some of these kits as well. It's not letting me do the clap though. Okay. Um, so do you see a snare or instrument that looks like this? Yes. Okay. Okay. So why don't we use that? Okay. So from there, I want you to put, let's, let's move into the row. And let's put a snare on where it says 1.2. Let's put one there. Um, so like, how do we put it? There. All you gotta do is, so go into the grid. Okay. okay. And then click, or you might have to double click. Double click. Oh, it, oh, it wasn't working. I double clicked and it worked. It didn't work? Yeah, I, no, I have to double click, that's why. Double click it? Okay, perfect. So let's double click a snare in the 1.2, right under 1.2. Yeah. And then let's double click a snare right under 1.4. So it's kind of like the X and the Y axis. So I don't, I forget which one is which, but in this axis is our, that's our snare. And then this one is our, our beats. So 1.2. 1.4 are the beats that we where we want to put snares okay so you got that yeah okay now let's work with our kick um i'm just going to add a simple pattern into kick which means you can add squares anywhere you want to within that bar but as long as we have our snare on the 1.2 and 1.4 uh 1.4 sh everything should glue together perfectly And then you had to run it. So if you play it, you should have a beat that that sounds like a beat. How so do you do, repeat it? Huh? How do you repeat it? Okay, so let's loop it. Let's go back to the let's go to the top in our range view. Okay, yeah. you see this highlighted area? Uh, it might be faint. Or it might look like this. It might be dragged out to the five. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so hover over it and you should see some air some arrows where you can move it back and forth. We want to move it, we want to move it back to to where it just only covers the one. Okay. Okay. And that's, that's basically what it's doing is looping our arrangement, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, your cat is so cute. 
another one. Okay. So what do you what do you have? Can I hear it? Okay. One sec. Um, okay. Uh, let me make sure that you are looping here. You see this, uh, these arrows that kind of go around in a circle at mm -hmm. the top? You see where my mouse is? I don't know where your mouse is. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, see it? Um, click on that to enable that. Make sure that's uh, green. Yeah, I just got you. Okay, cool. So, and then make sure this at the top, if I click off of it, it kind of goes away. But you want to enable that too and make sure that's highlighted red. Yeah, it's... Um, highlighted red? Perfect. Okay. So when you play it, you play your beat, it should loop. So go ahead and play it for me. I think because you have a headphones on, you, we can't hear it. But as long as, I mean, as long as you have your, huh? No, I don't have headphones on. I oh, you don't have, oh. I just have it, I, I forgot and I take it off. Okay. Do you mind turning it up just a little bit so we can hear? Yeah, it's, I think it's full volume. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. So now that we have our kick and our snare pattern, let's go to our hi hat. Okay. So now this one might, yeah, this might be a little bit because there's so many. So we want to find a closed hi hat. And if you go through each instrument and kind of, uh, or each instrument that looks like a hat, you see how these kind of look like hats? Yeah, but I. I see that one, but um, and this is how it sounds. You can hardly hear it. And that's fine. I think that's a op that might be an open one. Um, do you see one that says closed, or does it the one that you just I'm played? I'm to like closed? show what it says. Okay. No problem. So I mean, that's totally fine. Let's use that. Okay. So let's just in order to give it like some real rhythm. Let's just add a hi hat to each square in that row. It says closed hi hat. It's this one. Yes, that's exactly what you want. So where should we add it? So you can you can keep the rhythm basic and add a square to like every other one, every other square in the row if you want to. Um but what I like to do to give it some a little more rhythm is add a square that's like that. into all of them. Yeah, that's what I do. Entire row. Okay. So now your beat should sound like right. Now it has a little more rhythm to it. So you mind playing yours? From what I hear, it sounds good. I think. Mm -hmm. Can you play it one more time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Good job. And that's that's basically simple beat making. Like as as long as you like, I will start with one bar. Okay. Like again, music has several bars and several measures in it. But since we're at the beginning stages of beat making, we want to keep it real simple. So we're using one bar. We're making a drum beat or one bar of a drum beat. Okay. Um, and then basically what we can do from there is if you go to the top to your arrangement view again. Um, one sec. Top where? Um, right here to your arrangement view. Yeah. You see this uh, circle? Um, you mean square? Uh, well, okay, so there's a square and then there's like oh. little circles within the square. Yeah, I saw, um, see the repeat sign. So. Okay, yes. So if you drag it out to the five, which basically equals four bars. Remember, every whole number has four beats to it. Now you have a four, and then we also want to drag out the loop. 
to the five. Okay. And now we have a four bar beat pattern. Okay. Now we can add a little more to our beat, which is what we're going to do once we get back into uh, joining the group again. Okay? Okay. Awesome. Do you have any questions? No. I did. Um, that sounds good. That sounds good. Uh, okay. So let's. Let me give them a heads up to us and give them five more minutes. Stop sharing the screen here. Five. Minutes remaining. Aleka, do you think you'd be able to, after this workshop, do you think you'll be able to start creating drum, uh, drum beats on your own? Yeah. Just by following that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, just remember the key to keeping your drum beat on beat, pretty much, is just making sure that you have make your snare on two and four. And then pretty much anything else, especially when you get more advanced, um everything else will kind of fall into play mm -hmm. and it'll actually still be on beat um cool so let's jump that's actually three minutes remaining let's see three minutes Was there anything else that you want to go over before we went back into the, the room with everybody else? No. I, I okay. Was sad. I was like confused why it was not working. Got you. Okay. Um, so yeah, once we get back into the room, we're going to go over some melodies and harmonies and stuff. So basically building on top of our the drum beat that we created. Hmm. All right, we got two minutes left. All right. Um, I'm just playing around with some stuff here. Balls. All right. Uh, all right. So we're about to wrap up and go into the room or come back. So let's do. Should I return to the main session now? Um, Ashley is going to do it automatically in 45 seconds. Well, but can I just go now? Hmm? Can I go now, though? Um, I have to be the one to kind of bring us every or everyone back together, and okay. actually, they're going to start gradually coming back. Okay. So, 
and we should start seeing them. Turn the main session. There's everyone. Well, can everybody hear me? How'd it go? Do we all have drum beats? Yes. I got drum beats? Yeah. Cool. Um, Queen Abelea, are you still there? Um, oh, there you go. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry, cancel that. Hello? Oh, wow, ah, we can hear you. Yeah, it fixed when we went to the breaking out. I was just making sure we all have our drum beats. We got, you, you got your drum beat down? Awesome, okay. So we're a little bit behind time here, so we're just gonna keep moving to the next part of it. So, Ratio, you want to take us to melodies, harmonies, or? Yes, so. So good job everyone on the drum programming, which is our rhythm. So it's something that kind of keeps keeps it going and it keeps, you know, like um, you know, just kind of like the the main push, right? Um one of the other things that we like to add in music is something that we call um melody. So, um, I'll explain a little bit, and then our other friend, uh, Latifa, who actually went to school and studied all this good stuff, um, will elaborate a little more. So, um, I think of melody as uh, something you can remember, right? So, everybody has, you know, like your favorite song, you always kind of... You know, you ever catch yourself like in the shower or cleaning something and then you're like listening to, you're like repeating like, oh, oh gosh, I remember that song. And you like, you know, there's like a part of that song that you always remember that you sing. Usually that's what we call like the tune. So that's, you know, the melody. Um, and then I would say harmony is something that would complement it right um yeah Lutifa, would you like to add anything <laughs> does anybody play an instrument yes instrument so what ray was explaining in the harmony and in the melody is all composed of notes so they're arrangement of structure and it's like the way when you write a sentence like i would think of the drum beat like your punctuation it tells you your time like this is a period you gotta stop and then the notes are your, your words you choose so in the musical alphabet there are seven letters only seven letters and that's a b c d e f in G. And so in front of us, I think you guys could go to the instrument where we were for the drum beats and you can pull up a piano. Do you guys see that in front of you, the piano? They give you a couple options, but there's a grand piano. There we go, right where we want to be. So on the piano, all the white keys are lettered and all the black keys actually aren't lettered they are called sharps or flats depending if you go right or to left and I this will help you understand but all of the keys are lettered so does anybody know the first key's name on the piano 
Yay! Okay, Queen. What's the first letter of the furthest key? Which I guess is what's that key? Yes, the first the first piano key. What's it called? Is, did you say C? Awesome. So sorry, my son's in the background, but um, you would come from C going to the right would be D, then E, then F, <laughs> then G, then A, B, back to C. So when you hear a melody, it's composed of all of these notes on the piano or guitar, but piano is the easiest way to lay it out. So when you go from C, C to C, that is actually how we build chord structure. And we'll, that's more advanced, but I just want you guys to understand, you can actually make a melody just using all of the white keys. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I have a little piano here too. Um, so the reason why there's those, um, I wanna say those other notes on band lab is because instead of using one of these, so not everybody has one, um, you could also, or you're traveling or something, you could just use your keyboard on your laptop. So those notes are not, you know, what they're actually named, you know, because I think um, you were talking about C, which is this one. Um, the piano that's on band lab doesn't say C, it'll just say like, um, let me see if we could share that screen again. I can't share my screen, but maybe Chris could share. Um, yeah, so you see that it's actually Z or that little comma, you know, and it's actually C. Um, but yeah, so anyways, all those, like uh, Latifah said, like you can make anything from the white notes, right? Um, which would then be a C major scale. Um, but anything can sound good, I think. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so let's see. Um, we could try to, usually like I'll pick uh, maybe even three notes for a melody, you know, like something just, you know, just something fun. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear, or actually, um, Chris, could you let me share? So if you go under share screen and then, um, Yep. Um, try that, I think. Okay, cool, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna go here. Um, so there's, you know, our little drum. I'm gonna go ahead and add a track and we're gonna click instrument. And then we could see that same piano, right? Um, right now it's under grand piano. I'm going to pick this one. Let's see. Right? So let's see. We could pick, we could pick like three. Whoops. Actually, let's pick, maybe we'll stick to. Ooh, there's other synth ones. Okay, so <laughs> uh, upright piano maybe, so it's loading. All right, so if you look on your keyboard, right, Z, X. So that's our whole scale. So the goal is to um find just you know three notes that could work as your melody that you think is going to be like fun or memorable
I'll use the black keys, but I'm um, actually going to take this off so we could just listen to it a little better. Right? So we could just do those three, that could work. So, four, but that could work. Okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and record it. And then there's our, um, yeah, our melody. And you can see that it repeats exactly kind of the same with this one. And then when I click on it, you can see all the little notes. Ta-da. Sometimes they're not perfect. They don't have to be. But if you feel like you want to fix them, you can, you know, line it up to these little 1, 1.2, 1 1.3. If you feel like it. Yes, Avalia is feeling it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. um, Did you want to break out into groups for, let's see, 10 minutes this time? And yeah, 10 minutes is cool. Okay. So, um, sorry, real quick, did you want to end it one or one? Um, How are you feeling? Time is it? Uh, I guess we could just go, because I, I, I don't know if other than that we'll make it all the way to one. I don't think we have okay. anything else. To, well, I guess we should just go until we get through everything. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, how's everybody else feeling? Everybody else feeling? How, how does everyone feel at this moment? <laughs> Is every give me a thumbs up if everybody's still good. It's fun. Perfect. Okay. All right. Cool. So okay. So, um. Okay. Yeah. Let's break out into groups. Let's do another fifteen minutes. And if you just want to make sure that everybody understands melody and everybody has it down, and then we'll come back and then we'll wrap it up. Sounds good. Sounds good. All, All right. right. Cool. So let me break out the rooms again. This time I'm going to, we're going to change it. So, um, break up one, do two, break up one, and then move to two, and move to two. All righty. And here, hold up, sorry. Um, and here we go. See you in a minute. Latifah's in my group. <laughs> um, <laughs> ooh, and Elliot. Okay, he's probably working on his dinosaur one <laughs> track. And oh, I'm sorry, Le 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 Um, yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good, good. So there you are. Okay. Um. Are you on a, you're, you're not on a phone, are you? No, I'm on a computer. Okay. Do you want to share your screen so we could look at your project real quick? Sure. Um, something kind of happened. I don't know. It went wrong thing. Right here. Oh, nice. Um, I mean, I don't know where the drums went. I saved it, so it should be somewhere. Um... Press that play button real quick and see. I just did something funny. Okay. I don't know what drum do you think I did. We could add the drums again. Because okay. I'm not sure. It's, it doesn't look like it's on there. Yeah. So if you want, we could go. Um, oh. Uh, I think I know what happened. I think, did he switch the instrument to piano on accident? Yeah. Okay. 
I don't know. There uh, we go. Cool. Um, also, one more thing. Um, when you click share screen, if you go back to that uh, green button, at the bottom left, it'll say share computer sound. Oh, where? So if you click share um, screen again, like new share. New share? Yeah. At the bottom, it'll say share computer sound. You just want to click that. Okay. Yeah. And then one sec. Let uh -huh. me share. Okay. Okay, there. Is it share, showing you? Yeah, I can see the screen. Did you also hear it? Yeah, I wonder. I can't hear it as clear, but I can still hear it. Um, you did press the share computer screen, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Um, cool. So you have your drums. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. So now we want to go up to the top left with a little plus sign. Where? All the way to the left. Where, like, right above instrument. Uh, oh, there. Yeah, it says add track. And, and then, then you want to get... Notes. Exactly. And then, and then when you click on it, yeah, exactly. Uh, so is it piano? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so those, yeah, those are the notes. You could do it a few ways. So like, you know how I was playing it on the keyboard? You could do it that way, or you could do something that we call drawing. So you see that little pen? There's like a. Oh, this. Yeah, like you could draw it in. So you just click a note. Okay. And then you do that. Yeah. Mm. And it's like I need to delete that. <laughs> Wait, how do you delete something with the? Um. So you want to go back to the little uh, mouse. Yeah. So go back to the. So not the pen, but the mouse. How do you get back? Oh, yeah. yeah. Just click it there, and then just double click it. Okay. You can also just double click it to add it if you want to. You know. Might be easier than the drawing. There. Yeah, it's easier than the drawing. Yeah. Let so me... actually try it without the drawing. So just double click. Okay, let me just figure out which one. Uh-huh. Okay. How do you You got it? There. Yeah. Good job. Uh, that's, this is hard. <laughs> I know. Okay, what? It is to start. It's true. There. And then... And then this one. There, I did it. Cool. All right, let's, we can hear what it sounds like if you want. Okay, I think I messed it up. I can also do this. Yeah, there you go. I like it. Okay. Um, so if you press that play, it'll play. Cool. Okay, then, uh, and then let me repeat it. How do you repeat uh, for this one? So we can actually copy. 
Yeah, there you go. You got it. And then, uh, that's it. And then I call, it does it over and over again. Yeah, so go ahead and play it. Okay. Um, what do you think about, you know how we're going up, like, da 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 right? Yeah. What if we make um, one of the patterns go da 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 like backwards? Okay. Um, so then we put it. But, um, sorry, real quick, if, so we want to, you know how you stretched it out? Yeah. See? Yeah, so we're actually going to stretch it back to just, so it'll end on three, so just two bars. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So you're going to grab that where you're going to copy. Do you know how to copy? No. So click on that instrument like you were, yeah, so right click. Here? Um, no, just go ahead and right click with your mouse. So you're going to click copy. And then you're going to go over to the three, that like three bar. Over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just going to, so you want to move that cursor so it starts at the three. Um, so I'm confused. So you know how, like, you see, yeah, there you go. I might just, no, okay, we didn't. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Now you can click paste. And okay. Yeah, so we want that, so then you don't repeat the same one, right? Cool, so now whatever you edit on that second loop, right, like that one, it'll just, like, repeat. Okay, I'm just going to... going to change it. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just uh, one sec. Yeah, so if you want, so you see how that um, the very last note, like so it's right before 1.4. Yeah, so how about we just move it to, uh, like, where the first note was. Does that make sense? So, like, because we want to go backwards, right? Yeah. So we can move the very last note so it, like, sits on top of the very first note. So, yeah, okay. Does that make sense? Oh, wait, copy, and then I can... Oh, let's see, um... Okay, I'm gonna confuse. <laughs> I know, sorry. So here, let me let me just show you show you mine real quick. Um, you're doing really good, by the way. So I'll just show you what you have, right? So we have um, also band lab can be a little slow sometimes, so that's you know definitely something. So okay. So this is what we did, right? So we did copy, we pasted. So with yours, um, so I just highlight it and I'm deleting it. Oh, deleted the whole thing. Interesting. Okay. Um, so we're working with this one. Oh, okay, maybe it won't let me do that. I thought it would, but well, I was thinking we could, since you have a. Like, so you see how this one's still the same. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think yours is something like. Uh, like, da, da, da. Right? 
Okay. So what I was going to say is we could move this, 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 this. Mm. See how it's like going down? Yeah. So we yeah. change the whole thing to down? Yeah, so I'm just moving the notes around. So like when you play your song, it's like da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I was thinking of like making it um go. I think I was thinking of making it like go down, like two note um, uh, two of the um measures go up and then two of them go down. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'll just. And then it was, um, four and then, or wait, what? Three, four. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Good job. Yeah, those are just ideas, you know. So, you know, hopefully when you're in the shower or you're cleaning or something, it'll be, it'll be like, oh, yeah, that's what it sounded like. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, how are you feeling, Latifah? Huh? Um. I like it. It was, I liked your beat. It was great. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Learning how to use the tools is like the biggest thing, I think. But the pencil is really fun. It'll let you sketch in a little bit faster. Yeah. Yeah, and you can always change it. Like sometimes it takes me. I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour sometimes to really, really find one that feels good or catchy, you know? Um, I agree. Yeah, sometimes it'll just be like, oh, that's the one, you know, like two minutes, I got it. <laughs> so, you know, just, you know, we're in the workshop, but just know that you know, on your own, it might take longer and that's totally fine. Yeah. And you, there's no wrong way. So you play around with it and just get different ideas. Like the more you practice, the better and the quicker the beat will come together for you. Okay. Yeah. I think Chris said 10 minutes or 15. I don't know. I don't know. Um. But do you have any questions or is there something else you want to add to your beat? Um, no, I think I like it. Yeah. I don't have any questions either. No? Good. You get, you get the hang of it really fast. That's Thanks. pretty good. Um. Yeah, I'll just show mine then. So I'll just extend mine. So yeah, so, so far we've learned how to work with the drums um, and how to add a melody. Mm -hmm. What's cool to you that I really like about this is that if later I decide I don't um, want that sound, I can always pick a different sound. So there's all these. I really like the, the synth pads. Or hmm, you want to pick one? Huh? Would you like to pick one? Which one looks fun to you? Um, wait, what do you mean? 
Like one of these, like one of the pads. Yeah. Anyone. Like you see on the screen, it says Atlantis, atmosphere. Oh, wait, I didn't see it. The thing was blocking it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Helicopter orchestra? Boom. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Woo. <laughs> All right, we're just waiting for everyone to, to slowly come waiting back. for my pizza to be not warm. Woo! All righty. We literally caught <laughs> ours by the hair of our chin. All right, is everyone good? Does everybody have a drum beat and a melody? Awesome. Hey. Okay, well, I mean, Good job, you guys. I mean, this is pretty much basic beat making. There's so much more to it that we don't have time to go in today, but you have the basics. You know how to build a drum beat and you know how to create a melody. Okay. Um, and that was pretty much the, the goal for today. Um, again, we are very, very, very happy and excited that you guys that you guys joined us today. You ladies enjoyed this and joined us today i'm like stumbling over my words but um maybe they enjoyed it but yeah we're going to go ahead and kind of give um a couple minutes to ask any questions that you all may have and then we're going to do a quick survey and then wrap it up okay so does anyone have any questions about what we went over today feel free to raise your hands no oh, ma'am or just go for it is everyone very, is everyone clear on how to make a drum beat and a melody? Oh, perfect then. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your what is this? Reaction, Queen Abelea. <laughs> awesome. Okay, great. So the final thing that I'm gonna do, um, that I hope you guys have a few seconds to do, is I'm going to throw a link in the chat um for our uh short mm -hmm. survey if you guys don't mind filling that out for us. So hold on real quick, let me get the link. And Chris, I'm just gonna jump in really quick um, and just say, if you, if the, if the folks in here, if the students here wanna do it again next week, we can go ahead and um, schedule this for the same time on the same day. So it would be, um, what it's a Thursday today. Uh, so we can do it for next Thursday, the same time as we did it today. Would you, would the students in here like to do that? Yes, okay. So. Um, Ray, you'll be leading the workshop since Chris will be traveling, um, and we'll plan on doing the same uh, the same time. And you can use we'll just as, uh, we'll assume that you're you know you're signed up, you're coming back. It should be the same. Uh, we'll we'll update the registration, but you you should be signed up. You can sign up again if you want to, but you're already signed up, um, and it should be the same link and all the information. So just yeah, get back here same time and feel free to practice in in between. Yes, please practice. Okay, all right. So entering the survey. So in your chat box, you should see a blue link. If you all can take a quick minute to click on that and fill out. I'm gonna share my screen again real quick and it should look like this. Does everyone see this? Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just answer the questions. You could answer them honestly. We would like for you to be honest. Um, and then just hit the submit button. Uh, I don't know the email address. Um, you don't know the email address. Okay. Um, that's a required thing. Let's see. Hey, Elliot. Yep. Um, do we have Leica's uh, email address? Maybe her parents. What's that? Do we have Leica's email address or her parents' email address? Um, we should do. Let me okay. uh, let me just check that really quick. I can um, mess uh, message that to you privately. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 She just doesn't know it, and it's a required field. Got it. So bear, bear with me for for a second. Um, how do you spell her name? Is it L-E-A-K-H-A? 
Oh, I got it. Okay. I'm going to okay. go ahead and put that in the, the chat for you. Uh, bear with me for a second. Okay. So I'm thinking as long as we have it on file, that's great. Um, so for the time being, because I don't think I could enter it for you, Leka, uh, can you just put no name at no name? Um, I'm going to put it in the chat right there. But I can't enter it for her. It, oh, okay. So I put it in the chat so she can see it in the chat. Okay. So she can see it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, that. I know that. Got it. But I put something else for some reason. So once you complete the survey, can you uh, throw up a thumbs up reaction? Sweet. We'll give you guys a, a few more minutes. You're good, Leica. Awesome. And awesome, Queen Abelea. Perfect. So I think we are done here. Um, again, like, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, I, I had a good time. I heard some of you, you ladies beats and they sound absolutely amazing. So we hope to see you next week so we can just keep on building from there and become better beat makers. Does that sound good? All righty. Um, Rachel, uh, Latifah, did you all want to say something before we end? Can we invite other people? By the Absolutely. Yep. OK. Yeah, it's open registration for anyone who wants to participate. OK. Yeah. I just want to say good job, everybody. Good job. Yeah, really good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Absolutely great job. It was super fun. Awesome. Hey, really right. quick, um, Chris, but before we go, yes. it might be kind of neat to maybe have you and each of the instructors play maybe like a 15 or 30 second snippet of some of the beats that, like a beat that you made just to share it with the students, just to kind of to flex a little, we didn't have you do that at the beginning. So maybe that, would y'all be willing to do that? Sure. You flex a little, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let me, let me pull up something real. Yeah. I know, I gotta pull stuff up now. I know, right, hold on, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go to. And just a reminder for folks, we're going to be doing um, a teen beat making workshop again, part two next Tuesday. And then next Thursday, uh, next um, Wednesday, we're going to be doing the kids beat making workshop, which is open to you folks. Um, I'll do, let's see if I can do a screen share of my, of the flyer. Um, I've also put it in the chat. I'll, I'll put it in the chat again right now. So you have the flyers for those and they have the, um, the sign up code on the flyer. Um, mm, 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 here we go. Teen virtual beat making. Excuse me. Logic collects me to her attention. Uh oh. Sorry guys, it's good. It's, my yeah. computer likes to talk. My computer likes to talk. So the flyers are in the in the chat. You download. Um, and
who's going to flex first? Um, I'll go. Uh, I just got something that I, Ellie, you heard this before, but something that I recently played for one of my students um, as I was teaching her sampling. So um, let's see. Do I have to share my screen in order to share my audio? In, unless you have loop back, you will, uh, you don't, you, you have to hit the share. And then if you only want to share your audio, you go to the top middle and go to advanced settings and do just share computer audio or music. Okay. So. And you also have to make sure that your beat making program, you've put the audio out through the zoom virtual interface. Oh my God. Okay. I'll just share. <laughs> well, you gotta do that. It, it, it's I'll, I'll walk you through it. Hit share screen. And then go to the top middle and go to advanced, the very, 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 very top of the screen. Click okay. the advanced tab and then do music or computer sound only. Click on that. And okay. Share. Share. Okay. Okay. And now you're going to go to your settings in your DAW. Are you playing it at your DAW or just out your system? Yeah, this is just a garage band. Uh, uh, you got to so. go to garage band and go to um, your audio settings and on output, put it through the Zoom virtual interface. Got Zoom. it. And then we'll get high quality sound coming out your DAW. All righty, here we go. <laughs> Light flex, like a little light flex. Yeah, light flex. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your bass sound is really, I love the bass you have on there. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. It's not, it's not a real bass. I wish I could play like that, but it's all. That was awesome. That's really cool. How'd you play that bass part though? It's just a part of the sample or? um there's a little bit of part of the sample and then i just build on top of that so it's like actually like two build two bases <laughs> going on there thank you journey thank you <laughs> all right who's next yes um i guess i could go i um yeah, so yeah. i've been doing these small <clears throat> Um, they're called like challenges, I guess. Um, so I'll have students, uh, you know, kind of tell me something they want me to sample. Nice. Um, and I will do, like, I'll do it live, I guess. Um, so <laughs> this is, you know, so I make a bunch of crazy things, um, but this is like kind of one of the, the most <laughs> recent ones. Can everybody see? Yes, we can. Okay, so this is just what I use and what it looks like. Um, it does this pretty much the same stuff as, um, as a fan lab. So it's pretty simple, but it's just, it's, it's fun. And Ray, this is Ableton, this is live. The program you're using is called Ableton Live. Yeah, so this program is Ableton Live. But you can see that it looks, you know, very, very similar. Um, you know, they're all instruments and, you know, it looks very similar. So over here, it's just about a minute, so. Thank you. 
exactly what it was they're like we want uh yeah that's that's yeah, what they got it. so you know that's so it was just fun you know where's the fire emoji in here there's not okay. <laughs> air horn oh that's a cat <laughs> yes Tifa, did you want to jump in here? Or? I will say. <laughs> oh so, my God. Song I just finished. Yes. It's actually out on Spotify, but I will play it. I was like, oh, that's dope. It didn't have a phone in it. But that's a sample of it. That's the vibe right there. I like it. Baby Charles. There we go. Yeah. Folks, thank you so much for um for for facilitating this workshop. Chris really appreciates you, Ray, uh, Lydia Tia. I have one last plug. Um, if you folks want to support today's future sound and keep uh, free workshops like this going, we do have merch that you can buy. I don't I don't know if you can see this, uh, if it's disappearing into the background. But we also we have these merch, uh, this that kind of thing. I'll share my screen really quickly on our big cartel page. Um, today's future sound dot bigcartel.com uh, i'm going to go ahead and just share that really quickly here and our um this is our today's future sound let's see can you can y'all see this yeah okay so this is our big cartel page we have stickers limited edition stickers by isa love she drew these stickers for us custom stickers a little sticker pack you can see it's a it's an eight pack um and then we also have many different bucket hats. You, you can see ISA Love is modeling the different bucket hats. We got plenty more than those. You saw some fruit flavored ones or design ones. And then also be sure to hop over to our website and check out our website too. You can also go to um, todaysfuturesound.bandcamp.com and there you'll find uh, beat tapes from our students. So I'll just go there really quickly so you can see it, bandcamp.com. We have literally hundreds of albums um, that you can check out. I will show you right here so you can see it. 
and also the beat tapes from our uh, beat ciphers. But you can check out the kids' beat tapes that we make at schools and other places where we do these programs. So be sure to check that out too. But yeah, anything you can do to support. And if you go to our website, parents who are watching, and if you want to support, you can click the donate today and it's a tax deductible donation. So we appreciate any support that you can offer us. Um, it's free, 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 free for these workshops. We appreciate you coming through. Thank you so much, Chris. Any final thoughts before we depart? We'll have the workshop same time, same uh, day of the week, but Ray will be leading it next week. Chris, any final thoughts? Uh, no, again, thank you all for joining us today. Had a blast. And if anything, we hope that you took away learning uh, the basics of beat making, um, a new skill that's um, actually pretty fun, you know? So um, we encourage you to, to use it and practice it if it's something you like. And um, yeah, make it a thing. Make it a thing. Any final questions from the students before we, uh, we finish up? No? Okay. All right. And please do invite other, uh, other girls, young ladies that you know. They are welcome to join. It's the same registration link that you used, um, same as that's on the flyer. So we will look forward to seeing you next week. Um, I, I may not be here for so long because I technically should be on vacation, but I'll get the meeting started so that Ray can do it. And then uh, I'll let her take it from there. So we'll look forward to seeing you next Thursday. If you don't sign up for the Wednesday workshop, go, go to todaysfuturesound.org or our Instagram and uh, you will see the flyers up there for the Wednesday workshop. Um, and I will do one last thing. I'm just going to post it in the chat as well um, so that you can sign up for that. We have the, actually the teen beat making workshop on Tuesday, and then we have the youth um, beat making workshop on Wednesday. So you're free to sign up for that. You can see it in the chat there. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Take care. Follow thank us on Instagram everyone. and stuff, and um, we'll look forward to hopefully seeing you soon. Yeah, thank you, Chris, Tifa, Ray, Elliot. Thank you so much. We had such a good time. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. It was great. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Oh, we got sound from her. Yeah. Yeah, we got sound from her. We did, oh, yeah. Wow, this is so good. <laughs> Yeah, and um, Queen Abalea, please uh, try to get. Is there? A, is it possible you could get your parent on screen just for for a second to give us the uh, permission? Does she need uh, the actual form signed? Um, if you can, it would be great if we can get your verbal consent right now. That's wonderful, and then um, the, yeah, the, the I'll try to share a copy of the form with you. Is it the email that she used to register, or is it a different email? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. It's just that I didn't know, like, if we were supposed to type it in. I tried to, and it wasn't you know editable. Yeah, that's that's probably. If you can print, if there's any way, you do you have a printer? Yes. You can print it out, sign it, then take an iPhone photo and just email it back to me. Uh, that that works fine. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye, right, bye, everyone. Bye, all.